Hello, take three. <laughs> Welcome to Neat and Not by the Sea. My name is Catherine and my pronouns are she, her. And I'm Victoria. And we are here to do floss tube something number something. <laughs> like we're just as organised as ever. I'm supposed to have sorted this out. And today is the, it must be the 15th of February. It is. Yeah. Great. Well done. Amazing. Um, so, yes, it's been two weeks since our last floss tube, although we had <laughs> epic <laughs> problems last time. Um, I, oh. Something went wrong, didn't it? it something took, went very it took wrong. Forever. I, took, I had to, yeah, I ended up cancelling the upload and redoing it. So After 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Not refilming it, just re uploading it. Yes. Um, because um, Victoria does all the hard work for um, the English floss tube. Mm. And I don't. Anyway. I forgot to put my lipstick on, so this is what I actually look like. <laughs> it's This is what you look like when you've been married forever. <laughs> can't be bothered. <laughs> and my life's really hard this week, so you know now you can appreciate why I look like this. Um, okay, so we've got admin. Okay. Yeah, so f first bit of admin is that we are going to have our anniversary next, next time-ish. Yeah. So it's between times. Yeah. So our very first upload was on the 25th of February last year. So yes. we are turning one. So we thought... We still can't get our intro right. <laughs> what else? <laughs> <laughs> so we thought... If, well, remember when ages ago we said, oh, we'll, we'll do a giveaway when we have a thousand followers. Well, that clearly is never going to happen. <laughs> so we're going to do a giveaway for our floss anniversary. Um, uh, and so what we'll do is that um, if you watch this one, you comment on this one mm -hmm. um, with anything. You don't have to say anything about the no, floss anniversary. Just comment. And we'll use the random picker. Yep. And we will pick just before we film the next one and we'll um, say the name of the winner for the next yep. one. And what we thought would be a fun thing to do is... Um, get a little package together so we'll put in a couple of um a couple of cross stitch patterns a couple of flosses maybe yeah um depending where you are because we will post anywhere in the world yes. right we'll, we'll, we'll dig into our wallets for this one mm. <laughs> i'll post because it, it's cheaper from the university <laughs> um so what we thought we would do is once we've drawn the winner we will find out where the person is from. And so if it's an international watcher, we thought we might throw in some sort of Kiwi, Kiwi stuff, you know. Mm. Um, if it's a Australasian winner, you will know all about Kiwi stuff. So we'll just find something else. We thought we'd make something up anyway. Yeah. So. Um, and what is, oh, and I would like to um, know if the person that wins is also a knitter. Yes, there might be some questions. Um, once we've drawn the winner, I actually thought we might message them some questions just because we've all put some food and things in it. Yes. Um, so we, yeah. if you've got any food allergies and things, we might just ask you about that so we're not sending you um, things you can't eat yeah. or don't want to eat. Yeah. Which is actually a consideration when um, when you're sending things to New Zealand because one of the things that I notice is that sometimes people are very sweet and when you buy a package from, you know, whatever, they might send you seeds. Mm. For example, that's a big no-no into New Zealand. Yep. No seeds, um, no, no honey. No seeds. Yeah. No fireworks. <laughs> yes. Um, um, yeah, so that, yeah, we just thought it would be a, a bit of fun. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't talk about the other thing, but we are also going to do the other thing. Yeah, well, you do talk about it now. Okay, so the other thing we thought we would do, because clearly, you know, we think we have energy. <laughs> um, we thought we might do a Zoom stitch and chat yeah. session. We don't have the, the final details, but we're thinking it'll be over a weekend. So we'll, we'll announce all the details on our next um, on our floss, tube. floss tube. Yeah. We'll organise it all. Um, don't feel bad if you can't join. It'll be Victoria and I. <laughs> um, but if you want to join, yeah, we thought we would just do something for about an hour and a half. Yeah. So um, the expressions of interest would be interesting to see if it is something people want. <laughs> yeah, go on. I challenge you say, nah. <laughs> Honestly, say nah. <laughs> Nah. This is all Catherine's bright idea. And I was like, do I have to do anything other than turn up? And she's like, nah. And I'm like, great, I'm in. Yeah. I, I make <laughs> Victoria do these things. And she's like, mm. Victoria, do you want to do this? Mm. Three months later, Victoria, do you want to do this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, I know one person that um, got excited about the idea of this. So um, yeah. Ella from Spectrum Stitcher. I actually chatted with her. And Lovely. I said, we're thinking of doing this. What do you think? Everybody does it. And, you know, I'll tell you what it is. I'm working from home now. <laughs> it's so like, and lacking human contact. <laughs> I'm finally lacking human contact because normally I'm like, I've seen too many people. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, please someone talk to me. So it was my idea. But I think it might be fun. Yeah, I think it will be great fun. So we're thinking, at the moment, we're thinking of doing the English version because I'm probably too shy to do the Spanish one. Mm. You know, little steps. Yeah, and just a one-off, I think. Initially, we'll do a one-off, see what happens. See whether Victoria's like, oh my God, I loved it. Let's do one up oh. night. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. um, okay, so that, those are our two things for our yeah. close anniversary. Yeah, perfect. Um, life. Oh, I've got a question. Okay. Um, please comment if you'd rather we did life at the end of the floss tube. Oh, yeah, because we do tend to chat for 20 minutes and yes. then finally get into things. <laughs> so if you hate the chit-chat... If you'd rather we just got really into the cross-stitch yeah. and the other crafts, yeah. Yeah, I thought that might be a thing. After, after last week where it was quite yeah. long, I was like, oh, maybe they're just... They're trying to figure out how they can fast-forward it, and we're not going to give you timestamps because we don't want to no. edit. So, um, no. so, yeah, just let us know. Yeah. Oh, and I haven't spoken to Catherine about this because this was a bright idea oh, that I've just this. had. Oh, yes. For our one year anniversary one next week. Um, if you've got any questions you want to ask Catherine or I, oh, yes. we can do a wee Q&A. All the private questions. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've told everything because we're not particularly... <laughs> I'm not very private, am I? <laughs> Certainly I share all my secrets. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you have questions, yeah, that might be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone did, did ask, I'm sorry, I've forgotten your name, but you did say in one of the comments it would be so lovely to see a video of Victoria stitching her one over one piece. So we, <laughs> like we that. might do that. <laughs> we might do that. Okay. Um, yeah. Just to just to put a snippet in it for next time, not this time. Sure, sure. So life, we'll do life at the beginning because you know but we'll we'll keep it. We've had a whole cycle of life at the start. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yep. that's right. Yes, sorry, you got a bit philosophical there. I was like, "What's she talking about?" My, so, my life is very, life is good at the moment for me. Um, I have finally finished painting my mum's lounge ceiling. <laughs> Hallelujah! After a month <laughs> and of the being rest. up scaffolding, oh god, it was it was a mission of a job, but it is done and it looks fantastic. And mum is very pleased, so that's great. So that was, so what, we've had two weekends since we last came up. That was the first weekend and the second weekend. So Omicron is now spreading rapidly through New Zealand. So I have made the decision not to try it. Just avoiding town a little bit for frivolous mm. reasons. So I spent all the weekend home cleaning and stitching. It was lovely. She says cleaning and stitching. She did a bit of cleaning and mostly stitching. Yeah. <coughs> I did the washing. perfect. I did the washing. It was great. And Catherine came over for about an hour and a half on Sunday. and I did. Although I barely remember. Yeah. You were pretty shattered. Yeah, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Work is good. You went to the cinema last night. I did. I went to the cinema. Catherine was invited, but she said no. That was a funny <laughs> invitation. We went with a mutual friend to go and see uh, Death on the Nile, the Agatha Christie movie that's been recently redone with Kenneth Branagh. Um, and what's her name? The, the female actress was famous. I recognised her face oh, when I googled um, it. Oh, the Wonder Woman. The woman who plays Wonder Woman. You know, her. Her. Whose name in the quiz I couldn't remember either. Um, oh, whatever. Good, 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 Famous. Good. Yeah. Famous. Lovely. And it had... Um... Jeez, I'm just not good at the name. Come to us for like trivia. Come to us. Yeah, we're really good on the spot. <laughs> uh, well, it was what you think of the name. It was very funny because um, our mutual mm -hmm. friend messaged me and said, Hey, Victoria and I are going to the cinema to see this. And she gave me the wrong name, so I googled it. And it was Death on the Nile. And I was like, well, you clearly don't know me very well. Because <laughs> I am the wimpiest wimp. I would never oh. willingly go and see something like Death on the Nile. Really? It wasn't scary at all. I find those things scary. I cannot take the oh. suspense. I can't see what's coming. It's just like I'm a mess. Oh, I've seen so many versions and remakes of Agatha Christie movies. You can tell who it is quite early on. Yeah, but I can't because I've, I've never, yeah, you, I've never desensitised me. In fact, the other thing, the other, t the other day on Monday, I visit my elderly friend on Monday and <laughs> I arrived in her house and she was like, oh, 
instead of going for a walk and we just watch, finished watching my program and it was something about ghosts and like a little bit of my heart died. <laughs> I was like, yes, of course. <laughs> I was sat there going, oh my God, I hate this so much. <laughs> Uh, so if I get nightmares, it'll be your fault. Yeah. No, if you like that sort of sort of thing, it was very enjoyable. I think I enjoyed the um, the Murder on the Orient Express that they did a couple of years ago with the same with Kenneth Branagh being um, Poirot. Poirot. Oh my goodness! I, I know all stuff about that, stuff that I don't watch. <laughs> um, brilliant. I mean, he, he's not he's no David Suchet, but he was, it was perfectly oh, enjoyable. Look at that. Um. There is a film by Kenneth Branagh that I want to see, which is about oh, being Irish. No. Going home or going or home or leaving something, or something. Yeah. I've seen, I'll I go should see watch it. It's about no yeah. one else's um, Kane. I yeah. don't know the one. Yeah, Martin kind of, his heart dies when I suggest one of my art housey films. <laughs> <laughs> it's black and white. It's got no, actually it probably does have explosions. So <laughs> Yeah, it probably does have explosions, but I do fancy watching So that was that. perfectly enjoyable. The popcorn, ice cream and Coke were brilliant. And the costumes would have been great. Costumes were lovely. The boat was magnificent. I want the boat. God. Well, there must be a cross stitch coming your way. <laughs> I had to put uh, my glasses on because I can't see. Oh, so that's, that's me. Terrible. It's been very quiet last two weeks. Oh, it's been good. Do you know, I look very slovenly. When I watch, when I re-watch, mm -hmm. you look very... And I'm like, <sighs> like life is too much for me. Um... Well, that's good. You've had a good week. <laughs> I know you've had a less good week, so I thought I'd be the positive one. Yeah, you. <laughs> so, um, what's happened in my week? Um, Christina came home, which is lovely. So, my baby's been away in Stewart Island for three months, doing a sort of pandemic-adapted OE. She was working in the, in the backpacker. So, it was so great for her. I'm so happy, you know. When your kids get to 18 and they can spread their wings and they feel confident to do this. You know, they're a bit nervous, but mm -hmm. they're confident and they move on. Super great. Smashing. So happy for her. The three months went super slowly and really fast. So she's come home and um, she goes to university next week. So we've, we've got a week at home. And of course, now we've got Omicron in New Zealand and the universities are going to be teaching online and... But she's still going to go to a, a halls of residence. But she's she's fully vaccinated now. She got boosted today, which is oh, great. Excellent. And she's she's doing okay this time. Um, but it's just so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. And of course she's a teenager, so she's 19. She's not going to watch this for years. She will forgive me by then. <laughs> but you know, I know she loves me. But you know, they just can't be bothered with you most of the time. You're like, I love you, but. In fact, I think she silenced me on Instagram for three months. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Um, it's fine. Because <laughs> yeah, she didn't know what I'd done to the table. She was like, oh, what have you oh. done? And I said, you've silenced me, haven't you? She was like, no, 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 I just don't pay attention. I'm like, you're yeah, right. <laughs> um, now, it's just really, it's just really hard because you worry for them. And then they need you. So you're like doing things for them, emo emotional support or money or like, fetching and carrying or ferrying around and then they give you like a little hit every so often like an emotional mm -hmm. like we were talking about i don't know we were talking about covid and and i said you know if if you have to self-isolate you might want to come home and she was like <laughs> <laughs> i was like ow <laughs> just stuff like that um and so there were tears martin had to, martin had to take me for a walk last night i was like i phoned him crying in the day because christina Anyway, so I phoned Martin crying. I'm so upset with my baby. I'm so worried with my baby. And Martin had a, he had a, a, a boy date. He was going to go and see, I think American football or something on someone's telly <laughs> um, at 12. So he'd taken the afternoon off. So he really wanted to get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so he was torn between like commitment to wife and like, I've got a date. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was in floods of tears. Um, and then, and then we came back, he came home at home time and, uh, and he said something to me like, hi. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay, so you, you still need to cry. <laughs> I think so. And it was very funny. So it's always funny when I cry cause it is funny. But anyway, we went for a walk and oh my God, 
trying to like have a proper cry when you're walking and avoiding people is impossible. <laughs> I live in basically a village. Honestly, we kept bumping into people. <sighs> anyway, the baby's great. She's going to a hall. Life is going to be great. I've brought them up to be like good independent people. I get to cross stitch and craft and knit and I can be super selfish. I can do my own thing. It's fabulous. But my heart's a little bit bruised. Aww. Because baby. But the babies are great. And I do love my independence. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to do a Zoom with us? <laughs> We're like, oh, for crying out loud, I did the Zoom with me and not by the sea. And Catherine was like, my babies, <laughs> they've left home. Anyway, thank you for listening to me. <laughs> See, I'm in charge because it's your oh, house, so I, you know, I could just keep going. Keep, keep going, I? yeah. Oh, no, but I'm doing her... Okay, funny thing, funny life thing. Mm -hmm. So last night, after the veil of tears that was my life, um, I didn't want to watch anything serious. Mm -hmm. So I've been watching a lot of... Um, catching up on floss tubes and um, knitting podcasts and nonsensical films with happy endings. Oh, my God, I was watching... My Netflix is in Spanish, so I don't know the names, but it was like, Love is Blind. That, that is definitely a name of something. Anyway, so I watched that. But anyway, there's a film called Hysteria. Oh, that's the Victorian, yep, I know I've seen that one. I really saw that at the movie. The thing is, oh, great. <laughs> and the thing is, right, you know, because I'm quite serious, mm. like, let's face it, I might cackle, but I'm quite an uh, intense, serious person. So I remember someone bringing it up, and I was like, I cannot deal with yet another period in society where women, women were attacked constantly and deemed hysterical and sent to insane asylums. And, you know, so I went off on one. I never watched the program because I did not want to do it. Anyway, it turns out they've done it they done like a comedy. <laughs> so it's great fun. I'm going to watch it uh -huh. again because I watched it at um, time and a half speed. Right, right. So anyway, you know, I, I get like that. Yeah. But nice costumes, cute guy. I really like the actress, Gyllenhaal. Yeah, I was trying to, her, her brother's Jake Gyllenhaal. Isn't that terrible? I know her brother, but not her name. Um, yeah, she was good. She was in The Secretary. That was an yes. intense film. I haven't seen The Secretary. Oh, I've seen it a few times. I enjoyed I enjoyed it in a weird way. It was yeah. weird. Um, so anyway, so I, I watched Hysteria. Not that I was hysterical, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, oh. so that's it. <clears throat> Let's get on with the good stuff. Excellent. Um, shall we? Do you have any finishes? Vic I have a finish. Victoria. Drum roll. <laughs> Catherine knows this because I said so. One of the projects that I worked on this week, guiding text, was the Barbara Anna uh, Christmas 2021 mystery stitch along, which I should have finished Christmas time, but I didn't. So I'm a little bit late to the party, but. You were painting. I was painting, so yeah. This is what happens when I don't have to paint all my weekends. <clears throat> and I'm super pleased with it. It is very pretty. So, you, I will get the, I think I'll get a little white frame from the warehouse for this. And just frame it. It's pretty cute. The only real Christmassy things I think are the snowmen, or the snow. It could just be a winter. Just a winter it's one. just a winter scene. Yeah. You know, not everybody Which I does quite Christmas. Like. I quite like. Yep. Um, I like the stars. Now, are they stars? Metallic, metallic red. <laughs> That's why it took so long. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not the called for metallic. I had to substitute it for a DMC because I couldn't get hold of the called for. But it's okay. It looks very lovely. It's cute. I'm super mm. pleased with it. It's mm. done. Now I can start the next one. So speaking of framing, you were saying that you'll just go to the warehouse to get a, a white frame. Yep. Um, I was telling you about Secondhand frames and adapting them. Mm -hmm. um, so if people are interested in doing that, which is what I'm going to do from now on, because I just don't want to spend money on, on like professional framing. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, the Contented Stitcher had a special episode on what she does. So I'm sure you watch the Contented Stitcher. She has a lot of followers, um, and I, I watch her. I enjoy <clears throat> most of her her program. Um, and yes. <laughs> Just most of it. <laughs> she enjoys her program. She reads a bit of the Bible at the end. And I don't watch that. And she's very lovely because she says, you know, I'm going to read some of the Bible. Um, 
so please stay but if you're not see ya I'm like see ya <laughs> um, but she's very lovely she gives you warning so you're not gazumped into listening um, but it's yeah she just kind of in a very sort of just standard regular just chatting to a friend she explains what she does to get her friends sorted which is really great because as we all know if you produce 800 cross stitch uh, pieces in your lifetime um your family are not going to inherit that <laughs> they, they, don't they, want are gonna, it. they are gonna end up in the charity shop so you might as well just start with charity shop frames nice i think you know for me that works yeah. for me okay so you've finished something i haven't i don't think i've finished it have i finished anything victoria i haven't have i no i don't think you have I have finished a non-stitchy thing, which we'll wait for later. Cool. So, what's in progress? Excellent. <clears throat> Do you want me to start? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> this is all di also dipping into a little bit of, um, I'm not a shopper, but. So, many of you will be aware, it's quite all over Instagram at the moment, that it is funny. the Stitching Book Club has done... It is funny. We follow very different people huh. because I have not seen You have not this. seen this? No. Okay. I don't see these things. So this is the Stitching Book Club. <laughs> this is the Stitch Along. It's limited edition. I've, I assume because it's a licensed... Um, what's the word? Limited edition is just a marketing ploy, Victoria. No, 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 no. Because you had to go to them for permission to use the, the Narnia line, which the wardrobe words and text and stuff. Anyway... I do believe that there are some, I was reading on Instagram uh, today that she still has some available, but not that many. Great. So I have started it. You started on sparkly fabric, didn't you? I did. This is um, opalescent. So it called for a 14 count Ada opalescent, white opalescent, and I've done it on a 32 count linen. This was what, your little escapade to stitch witches, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but... And I love the, the gradiated um, colour. It is lovely. That the is ombre. Is that the ombre did you, you, Yeah. It, did you do that yourself or is it um, oh, a variegated floss? No, no. I've done that myself. This is all just using standard DMCs yeah. so far. Yeah. So I haven't finished. The, I think it's a three-part stitch long. So I haven't quite finished part one. I'm going to start it in the weekend. But it's coming along. It's fun. It'll look cute on the wall. And so not that big? Have you an idea? Not that big. big. It's 97 by 128 stitches. Great. So I left room for a, a three inch or two and a half inch border and it won't be quite the length of this fabric. I think I overcut. Nice. And the, the, this must be a mystery, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You like them? I do like a mystery. Yeah, it's really, it's really interesting how we respond so differently yeah. to things. Because I, I just think that would just be more life admin. Like, I do not need more life admin. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, this is a bit where Victoria would be like, you didn't organise yourself. Because, guess what? I didn't. Oh, I can start with this one because it's near. <laughs> so I spent the whole... I thought it had only been a week, but it had been almost two weeks since we'd met. So I hadn't done any cross-stitch. Um, <laughs> so... <clears throat> On the Sunday, I was like, I haven't done anything. Okay, I'll focus. So I did really well for someone that wasn't focused. So this fortnight, oh, wow, with my linen well. and threads, um, where is that? Can I see it? Yeah. With my linen and threads, I've done another, almost finished another page. I've done this motif, mm -hmm. and I've done a lot of this. It looks great. It, I love it. The only thing that's missing is this arrangement around uh, here around here and around here lovely so and i well... love i just love how this is looking it's so beautiful and i'm almost done i think i'm when you're when you can see the light at the end of the tunnel you get overexcited so i think this must might become yeah. a piece that i could just keep working on to get it finished yes you really are almost finished aren't you? i've got a page here and possibly a page and a bit there mm. yeah so cool. Yeah. You've got to put your initials in. Yeah, I have to do the initials. And I think because I'm sentimental. I was thinking I'm going to try and see if I can use the orange that Paula gave me. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough of a contrast. I'll have a look. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this. I'm thinking, wouldn't this be, this enormous star be fabulous for um, like a drum? <sighs> it would be beautiful as, yeah. as a top of a drum. Well, I thought top of a drum where you can have... Like, because you only really see the front of a drum. You can have a drum, and then you can have, like, 
smaller stars kind mm -hmm. of going off it. Beautiful. Yes. So I really, I really enjoyed this because it was very geometric. Mm -hmm. You know, I was able to just kind of repeat. With some things, you can kind of look at the, re the mirror image and figure it out. Yeah. So this is um, a linen from the embroiderer and it's Edinburgh. I'm pretending I can see 35, 35 count. count. <laughs> Do you want me to? Yeah, I could. I can barely see it, but um, um, it's called flax. I love this color. It's mm. just, it's just literally. It looks like linen. <laughs> um, so yeah, super happy with this. I know you won't use it. But I love that squeeze shape. Always makes me think of a gorgeous cushion cover. I know you won't use it as a cushion cover, but no, I don't think so. But I am seriously sort of pondering the question of what do you do with all these things that you make. Mm. Um, and I was talking to a friend, and we were saying how some things will get damaged if you use them, but so what? Yeah. Like you made it, and then you use it, and then it gets damaged, and you make more. Yeah. Kinda. I mean, it's like part of the conversation we were having earlier. Your children aren't going to want this. They'll want one, no. maybe two. Yeah. But they're not going to want the 800 items that you've made yeah. and framed. And literally, I could easily turn out 800 for yeah. the rest, in the rest of my life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm, I am thinking of, I like the idea of wearing the things that I make. Oh, I do like that idea. Um, so I need to kind of, I need to kind of let that idea simmer for a little bit more. Hmm. But um, yeah, I'm really, I'm in that space where I'm really thinking about how do I continue making in a way that's sustainable, that is not churn, because I do make fast. Mm. Not cross stitch, <laughs> not this fortnight. Uh, um, anyway, I'm very pleased with that progress. It looks great. Oh. Right, so the next one I worked on was the Wicked, si <laughs> wicked Siblings. I was going to say Wicked Step Siblings, but they're just siblings uh, by Mama Witch Cross Stitch. You see that picture there? This is an Etsy purchase, PDF download, nice and easy. It is the best, isn't it? Oh, it is great. And I've <laughs> only done a little bit more. I'm quite slow on the um, the black cloth. Yeah. So we're just working through one face. I think that's one colour. I haven't even got a second colour on there yet. <laughs> that's good. It's coming along. Yeah, got work done. And again, apart from the, I was going to say, apart from the pumpkin faces, that could just be an autumnal yeah, sort of stick. Absolutely. And this, um, this is one of the ones where I thought it was going to fit in my, you know, possibly one size up hoop, and I'd have it framed in a hoop because I quite like that thing. But mm. I'm thinking that that's probably a quilt hoop. But I've got heaps of those too, so I. No, wouldn't. it won't be a quilt hoop. I think it's going to be big. Quilt hoops are massive. I know, I've got them hanging on the wall through there. Mm. You know. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to frame it in a hoop because I really like that. Mm. It's a nice, neat little finish, isn't and it? And I will find a hoop when the time comes. Mm. Um, now, I can't remember if I'd shown um, some of these. I can't, well, I can't remember if I worked on them. Had I gone past the first line? No, I don't no, think you had. Had I just done the first line here? No, I've, I think you'd only done sort of a little bit somewhere show it I'm gonna show it I think I probably did show this so this is my ridiculous um, sampler that I love because it tortures Victoria it doesn't torture Victoria at all she actually likes it because the pattern shows you to do it wonky so she's perfectly okay with yeah, that that's what the pen says it's the instructions <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so this is Mary Hill it's an upside down numbers sampler and I do love it so much so we've got one, two, three, four colours so far. It's lovely. Um, and and this... it's on the off cut <clears throat> of my, um, of the fabric from this one. Yeah, so which is a Newcastle 40 count called Antarctic Ice. Yeah. Which is very appropriate for us. From Country Stitch. Because we're in New Zealand, which is near the Antarctic. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with this. But I don't think, maybe I hadn't done any, I don't know. No, I don't think you've done a whole, who cares? Look, she's done some more. Great. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the average age of our viewers is about my age as well, <laughs> so you've forgotten too. <laughs> uh, ah, right, my next one. So, what have we got? Merrily, merrily, we welcome spring by Blackbird Designs. With the never-ending alphabets. Oh yes, mine. The one you're making yeah, for me. Catherine wants. This is now a running joke. 
which will get very awkward when it's finished. And I give it to her, because it's like, oh, no, no, I don't actually want it. I'll make my own. No, you'll be like, oh, no, this is too awkward, Victoria. You can't do that. So, I can't remember whether I had started this blue one line here, but I have finished that blue line, and I have done half of the line that goes under it. So, there. Take it in close. This is a lovely cross stitch. I enjoy doing it. And it's um, quite fun to do. So, this is on a 28 count, but it's one over one. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh my god, I did not. I did, did I realize you were doing one over one? I must have. Oh, you must have. This is why it looks so dinky. Yes, it is dinky. <laughs> so funny. Wow. Why are the numbers like that? Uh, like starting at eight? Yeah. Five? Uh, because one, two, three, four is up. So, sorry, we're having this conversation off screen. One, two, three, four uh, occurs on the top line. So when we get down to here, we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen down here. And then there's more numbers on the rows below. See, I love that. I love that they're like, oh yeah, just do this then. Yeah. In fact, I was watching Nicole's Needleworks today. There's no shade in this. But people get so picky about their finish. They get so picky about, oh, this isn't perfect. It's like when people go to, they invite you to their house and they go, excuse the mess, and it's all perfect. You're like, what, what is, why are you even saying that? It's the same. People go like, oh my God, I didn't do this right, or whatever. And it's perfect. Well, she was showing something that she had won mm -hmm. from one of the famous quilters and, and cross-stitch designers. I've forgotten her name. That's, I'm great for anecdotes. And it was a great little pin cushion. Yep. It was one in a corner. And it looked fabulous. I bet she wasn't thinking, oh, it's a bit wonk in the corner. Just, you know? Yeah. Why am I going off on one? I don't know. Show you next one. Have you got another one? Because I was just saying, the numbers. It's good that they just didn't care. They were like, oh, run out of space here. I'll put it I'll put it, I'll put it three yeah. lines down. Yeah. Yep. So anyway. Yes, but that's why it starts mid This is what count. happens because I'm on that line. Right, okay, Victoria. Cons younger consultant. Ooh, this, this I one's finish? exciting. Did I finish? No. I had not finished. Okay, no, cool. this is definitely progress on last week. Oh, so I did do something. Okay, so this is my own sampler that I'm kind of finagling together. And I have finished the walls. So this is um, one line of uh, kind of off whitey creamy and one line of white. And you can't tell, it kind of all looks yellowish or cream from here. But if you're up close, you can see, oh my gosh, this is funny. I've just realized there's one line I didn't stitch. Have you not stitched or have you only gone in one direction no, there? No, <laughs> I haven't stitched it at all. Oh, there. Oh, that, oh, oh. that's white, that's white. So funny, because it's quite delicate. Anyway, I have to go back and check. Show the whole thing. Um, People will need to recall. Does it happen to you that sometimes you're stitching and you're like, oh, over there I didn't cross it? Yeah. That happens no. to me all the time. No, because I have a sister. <laughs> you're funny. Uh, oh, I love this one so much. I am very proud of it so far. So the idea is, <clears throat> if you actually go to Pukahiki Library, it has got a gate and dry stone, uh, no, wet stone walls with cement. Um, so I want to incorporate them in some way so that it anchors it to the ground because at the moment it's kind of floating mm -hmm. So it's going to be anchored somehow Are you going to fill in the windows and the door? No. Oh, so that's that's it. Oh, no, the door gets filled But not, yeah, the, windows. not the windows. Not the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The door will get filled. The door is kind of... It's a pop colour, isn't it? It's a third glass and the bottom two thirds are green. Lovely. Our green is green. Yeah, and I, I mentioned last time that I was going to do that fern the big massive fern leaf that's right yep so that was all the ones i've worked on so if you've got um i've just i don't know that i've worked on the, no i didn't work on this but i need to talk about this right okay so i need to talk about um and the forest grew which is a fabulous um massive sampler from rosewood manor and it's full of trees i am going to change the verse and I found a verse that I want, but it's in English, so I, I need to decide whether I like it enough to have it. But it's about, I saw it on Instagram. Um, it was about teach your children to love the simple pleasures in life. They don't have to excel at everything. You know, it was just, it was lovely sentiments about nice. not hot housing your kids and letting them enjoy life. So maybe that. Um, You've got quite a while until you have to decide. 
Well, I, I, as we know, Victoria, I don't have a method, so I could be doing that next. <laughs> um, but the reason I wanted to talk about it, because I, I haven't really done anything. I've done just my wonky tree, which I've done true to pattern. It is as wonky as was dictated by the pattern. Um, I was talking with Ella from Spectrum Stitches. So this is a new floss tuber from Australia. And in her <clears throat> very latest episode, she talks about, she saw me talking about this. So she ran off and bought it. <laughs> um, and she was like, oh, I wonder if Catherine wants to do a thal. Oh, because I hate the idea of a thal because it just sounds like pressure to me. It's like another thing I have to do. But it sounded quite lovely um, because, <laughs> mostly because I think nobody else will want to join us. <laughs> Um, so if you want to join us, we're doing And A Forest Grew and we're going to sell this until the end of the year and the hashtag is going to be with what you have, hashtag with what you have, I'll put it down below. Um, but the idea is that you don't run out and buy all the colours you're supposed to use but just use the colours that you have in your stash. And you're not setting any goals for, you know, finish this by the end of the week. It's just a case of do what you can and share it on the Instagram. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, because the idea is that no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. If you've already started and um, you want to join, join us, to finish. yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Because we were just trying to think about, you know, what hashtag we could use. Um, I quite like the idea of doing something that sounded Australia, New Zealand. Um, but, you know. This was also catchy and um, Ella was quite keen to find a reason to break the rules because she, she likes to follow the rules. She feels most comfortable following the rules. But she's, she's bought herself um, a lovely advent of threads. So she has a lot of colours now. She was like, oh, I, w I should use some of these mm. for something. So now she's going to use them for these. Hopefully, it actually doesn't matter if you don't follow <laughs> the one rule, which is to use what you have. You know, people can just do what they, what they want. But anyway, that's the hashtag. I'll be doing a sal for the first time in my life. So we'll see how I go. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. Excellent. Yeah. And do go and watch her. I think she's fabulous. I love that um, she educates us about um, climate change. She's doing a PhD. Excellent. On uh, legalnessness and climate change. And also she educates us on uh, the experience as being neurodiverse, which is fabulous as well. So I enjoy those two things. I enjoy watching her. Oh, and um, oh, this is kind of um, pantry, but since I'm talking about Ella, mm -hmm. she did, remember when she did her um, advent? Yes. And then I was like, oh yes, well, Catherine was Ella, great. Ella has bought herself loads of flosses and, and she cares about the environment, so that must be okay. <laughs> Do you want to, you've, you've mentioned the advent twice, do you want to explain what it was? Oh, so she, she didn't buy a pre-made advent, but she contacted um, a cross-stitch, a needle workshop in Tasmania, which is an island off New Zealand, part, off Australia, part of Australia. Um, it's a lovely needle workshop, apparently, and she asked them to put together, I think, 24 days of um, threads, just a variety, and they did that for her. So she was opening, she was showing us each colour. And I was like, I want to have that life. I want to get things like Advents, but I don't because it just makes me uncomfortable to do sort of shopping. But I thought, <laughs> see, I'm complicated. <sighs> I am complicated. But um, then I thought, oh, there's this one <laughs> floss that Victoria, you had talked about this one. Or... I have this one, yeah. Yeah. It's, and, in, um... it's in your Merrily Merrily We Walk in Spring. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's called Blue Corn. And it just makes me think of home because we have a it's not actually a blue corn it's a purple corn we call it purple corn in spanish maize morel um but as soon as i saw it i was like oh this is home so then i wanted it but i didn't want to buy it because it was over dyed and i don't do that and it's expensive i don't don't need it and all those conversations in my head and then ella was like and i did a an advent i was like oh, i can buy a floss <laughs> And then it was a sigh because I went to the shop and they didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go again and they did have it. And that was lovely. That's so brilliant. I'm very excited. I have now realised that classic colour works 
do quite a few in Spanish. Quite... Yes, what was the one that you sent me? Dulce de leche. Which is caramel. In effect. Yeah. 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 So I was quite excited about that. I thought I could, I could have these pinned on my, in my craft room on my wall, making me feel good. Lovely. Well, so, you yeah. could stitch with them. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe at some point. <laughs> oh, well, since you showed your shopping. Yeah, go for it. Right. Oh, yeah, and we'll be here for half an hour now. No, I didn't buy much. Yeah, she's already showing The hilarious thing, thing is, is that I, I snuck, well, I didn't sneak into the shop. I went to the shop in the morning, and Catherine went to the shop in the afternoon. So if we and, coordinated better, we could have gone together. Yeah. And Sue said to me, oh, flying solo today, Victoria was here earlier. <laughs> yeah, when I left, I, I think I said to Sue, I won't tell, don't tell Catherine, or I won't tell Catherine I've been here. Right, so, you may remember me talking about this one a few weeks ago. I spotted it in Stitch Witches, and um, I was in that post-Christmas poverty. Oh. <laughs> did you say poverty? I did. Oh. <laughs> um, so they put it aside for me. This is Garden Fair by Courtney Collection. And I am doing this as a stitch along with Zeb, who runs the... No, I wrote this down because there are a couple of them. She is the administrator for the New Zealand Cross Stitch uh, Facebook group, which is a private group for New Zealand Cross Stitches that you can join. And we're going to do this one as a stitch along together next year because this year she is too busy finishing her whips. <laughs> She's probably hoping that I've forgot that I have forgotten that we said we'd do this one next year. Um, but I'm quite keen. Shout out to that group though because I mean I'm not on Facebook so I don't know what I don't know everything. But she does she sent me a an article. I think she posts interesting articles mm. on there, so it's not just chit chat. No, there was a very interesting um history on stork scissors and why they are associated with embroidery I can't remember it now but it was awesome and I got and she sent me an article on um, needles oh, cross stitch and needlework places being very white and how we need to make room and include more BIPOC um, makers and, and not just makers and, and um, sellers but also Things that are relevant to people from other cultures, you know, you can, you can have. It's, it's not all white Christmas, and no. you know, people's experiences are different, and there has to be room for everything. So it's a very interesting article. I really appreciated that. And Catherine was very good with her one floss. I bought five. Actually, I bought more than this, but I've put some of them in kits already. So I got some flosses that were on my. These were on my list for projects that I've got. So I didn't just randomly buy pretty colours, although I have done that in the past. You know that trend on um, Instagram where it's like, tell me you're a blah blah without telling me you're a blah blah. Yes. I'm tell a blah me, blah. Tell me that you don't have dependence without telling me you don't have dependence because I'm out with my one floss child at uni. You're like, I bought five. <laughs> Ta-da. One thing, I I bought this from Creative Poppy, so this is online. This is the next Barbara Anna stitch along. Mm -hmm. which is the reason why I had to finish my winter one before I could start this one. And it called for, how do you pronounce, is it azure blue? Azure, yeah. Azure blue, uh, 32 count. I think. You can get away with anything because you, you can, can. Just, you know, people will say something, I'll be like, not in New Zealand. Yes, but they had it. <laughs> so I got the last fat quarter that they isn't had in stock. Isn't that a lot? Are you just building up a wee bit of stash? Oh yeah, I've got two patterns that call for this so far. Okay. And I think... I'm not sure if they would have cut it small. They probably would have. I don't know. I don't understand how all this works. To be honest. I wasn't too worried. I was like, I'll take that. So I've got some lovely blue fabric. <laughs> Supporting my point there. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a point. Like, I've got projects for it. I may have bought more than I needed. And I also impulse bought uh, this. Is this one? Francis. Francis 1863 Ladida. And it's uh, a rabbit. They've got this made up in the shop. And they've had it made up in the shop since they started. It's quite big, isn't it? It's about that big. Yeah, maybe a bit more. Yeah. And I've, it is I've, very beautiful. It's so cute. And it's one of those things that each time I've seen it, I'm like, oh, maybe I do want to do it. Maybe I should get it. And then I bought it. Yeah. The thing is, um, we joke about, I'm not a shopper, but, but you are a shopper. You like you enjoy that. I enjoy that's that. that's part of the process that you're enjoying as yep. well. Yep. 
so this will I'm sure turn up as a start sometime in the future near that, or far is that it that's all I got yep oh cool um yeah it's interesting because um I don't know what I've fallen into a rabbit hole of like watching people that are like hardcore stitchers like um Nicole's Needleworks Carol is it Carol saltbox stitcher. stitcher yep um and she recommended someone called Rachel, who also does dyeing. Anyway, I spent so much of like the last three evenings listening to the video, the floss tube, pausing, going to one three stitch, <laughs> adding things. And I think, I think for me, like that is enough. That most of the time is just to have a list is enough. It's like yeah. Pinterest is enough. Although I need your help because. I've put so many samplers on my list, and I think what I'm what it is is that I'm drawn to the pinks and reds. So I want to find out what colours they are, and I can just have pinks and reds. Uh, I don't have to buy like five hundred patterns. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, good most shopping. of the time you can find out what's in them without yeah. having to buy the pattern. Yeah, because it's a very generic. I, I see it constantly. Mm. I've, I've realised after about the third day of clicking, I was like. Oh, it's that same red and red pink pink. combination that you really like. Yeah. So anyway, so that's good. Excellent. And so that's all my stitchy goodness. Okay, so we can move on to not stitchy non stitchy red. goodness. Okay. Yeah. So I've done. I've got a finished project. Finished object. Excellent. Oh, don't let me forget. No. There. So I finished my cardigan. Ta da! That's so lovely. Oh, I don't know how. Way. Oh, it smells of wool because it's not quite dry yet. Can you see? It's a field of flowers. It's so pretty. It is like cross-stitch. I posted it on my Instagram. And um, my friend in Mexico, she was like, did you embroider that? I was like, she's not a knitter. I was like, no, it's <laughs> um, I'm super happy with this. It's so lovely. So um, I didn't really follow the pattern for the cardigan, but I did follow the pattern for the flowers. And then I did other things, like I incorporated a little detail on the side which is a pearl stitch. So this is a top-down yoke style cardigan. Um, beautiful yoke design. I love the yoke design. It has pockets. That so weren't added on as an afterthought. That wouldn't have mattered this time because oh. it's not a cable. Like the nightmare was the fact that this was a heavily cabled yep. cardigan. If anybody watches Pyramid Dye Works, who's a knitter, dyer, spinner and she's now doing cross stitch she did afterthought pockets as well on a cabled cardigan she was so thrilled at the end and then when she gave the gift to a friend she realized that one pocket was here and the other one was there i loved it but maybe the friend wouldn't have i don't know i thought it was great um anyway i have a saga with my buttons are they the final buttons or are they no. placeholder buttons <laughs> these are my placeholder buttons which might end up being perfectly fine buttons so I wanted buttons that are about that size and I want wooden buttons for this. You know, you get an idea of what you want. So I went to two different op shops to try and find wooden buttons. One op shop was out. Someone had come in and bought the jar. It's a bit rude. Okay. <laughs> um, the other op shop was closed and I was like, okay, I'll go to Spotlight, which is our big box store here. I couldn't buy the buttons. It was seven dollars for three buttons Ooh. for starters so i would have spent 21 dollars for buttons for my cardigan so that was a no-no they were so overpackaged. this was not medicine inside these containers this was like it was one of those plastic things rigid plastic oh really just ridiculous i was like i'm not doing that so I, I went home i looked in my jar um initially these were going to be the permanent th these ones were going to be the permanent buttons but i think they're a teeny bit too small but you know what i quite like them and i've put four different buttons like different 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 and then they're all the same although this one looks like it's bleached so it's actually the same as those but it looks different so anyway i'm not spending 21 dollars on buttons not mm. over packaged buttons especially so anyway i got back into the car because martin was with me and I was telling him my saga. <laughs> and he was like, you got cheap, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know 
like five, maybe six years ago, they used to just have the whole a tube. The tube. You go to the tube. You go up to the counter and say, "Look, can I have eight of these?" Yeah. No, and they, they don't do sixty the tubes or eighty now. cents. They're all in individual packages. So everything comes in packets of three, I think. Mm -hmm. And then you, they have a letter, and you look at the board, and it tells you how much for your letter. So yeah. my, the ones I chose were, were seven. Oh, it's so wasteful. Not the packaging itself, but you mm. know when you get three buttons or you have to buy multiples but you only you want an even number you want six no that mm. works not right you want eight buttons you've just got one mm. left over that floats away somewhere that doesn't upset me too much because i think you use buttons for other things the packaging upsets me i just can't deal mm. so anyway the other thing i did differently i made a really long cuff because this is actually quite a thick cardigan um and i thought it'd be really nice in winter so it's always going to live like this like i'm a granddad which I love, I love that look. Um, and then if I'm walking, I was going to say walking the dog, like I ever do that. Um, sometimes walking I do that. If I'm, if I'm walking the dog with Martin and he's in charge, um, and I don't have to do much, um, and it's cold, I could just pull it down. You weren't tempted so. to put a thumb hole in it? No, I've done a, a thumb hole before, and it gets, it gets quite raggedy. And also, I'm not 25. Oh. Like, I'm, no. Nah. I remember I'm my high school okay. uniform had a well, exactly. <laughs> a non non standard non standard thumb hole that yeah. I managed to. Yeah, I great. um, I don't. I have funny. I have funny rules in my head about how I can dress because I'm not. I'm not young anymore. I'm mm -hmm. not super young. I don't know. I kind of um, and it is. I know it's weird, but I there are things in my head where I'm like, no, no, that's for my children to do. That they get to do that. They're the young people. Anyway, so I'm very happy with that. And I've also made progress on my um, 19th century shirt. You have made progress. So this was, so the collar was damaged. It was actually flapping open. It was, so I did um, a blanket stitch all around it. A wibbly wobbly blanket stitch, which I love, love, That's love. gorgeous. So I'm very happy with that. And then... I was trying to think, what, what do I write? Because I'm going to wear these. What do I write on these? Poem or a saying? Or anyway, I couldn't think of anything. So um, I decided to write, write down the countries and cities where I have lived. So, so far we have, it's, it's like this. We have Peru. We have Iquitos. We have Chaclacayo. We have Chiclayo. And then we're going to start on Trujillo. And then I think I might change the color because it's all getting a little bit samey. Um, and I was thinking of, of either doing a blue or a green on this side. And on this side, I'm going to do, um, I, I'll start with England. But there are other things I'm going to incorporate. Like for example, I've never lived in Scotland, but Scotland's important to me because my mom was Scottish. Um, and I had my honeymoon in Scotland, in Oban. So I think I might incorporate some of those in random bits. Can I just say, I'm loving how that's running down with the seam. Mm. It's almost like those um, 1800 choir boy. Perhaps. I don't know. I mean, the shirt looks very much like that. It does. I think it's yeah. the cut of the shirt and then you put emphasize the line. With don't hurt yourself. Gorgeous. There's a needle there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm really happy. Yeah. It's very meditative, but I, I was doing this whilst I was like quite tearful with my child Aww. leaving. It's like, and I don't even live in my home country. <laughs> oh. Oh. God, Martin loves living with me sometimes. <laughs> Great fun. Oh. But yeah, good fun with this. I am enjoying it. And it'll, I think it'll be, I mean, I'm, I'm not against wearing things before they're finished. So I'll probably wear it and continue work on it. It's going to be cold soon. Cold enough it to is. wear this. It's a beautiful white linen. It is, but it's just too thick to be wearing at yes. the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, I'm using nondescript, no number, um, probably DMC, which I'm happy with. And I'm just going to bring my quilt over. You've been a busy stitcher. Yeah, I have to. Um, with the quilt, I stitch on on off like i have to have a day off because my fingers and my hands get so sore i did a grown-up thing today what did you do i threw my needle in the bin and i got a new one out oh it was 
was so manky. Oh, I hate it when they get like, I like it when they bend to your finger, that's quite nice, but then mm. it very quickly it over bends and it's like, nah. No, but this was quite a, it's quite a thick, because the pearl thread has to go through. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it had lost its shine, so it was like really strong. <laughs> When it starts catching, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely time to bin it. You did a wise thing. I'm about four years too late. <laughs> anyway, I am working on Christina's quilt because she is going to uni on Saturday. I'm dropping her off at nine in the morning, around nine. Um, I'm, I can't show you everything. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and get um, Victoria to take a photo or I'll take a photo and add and it, we'll add it in. right at the end. Not, not in the chat because that's a hassle because then you have to cut and snip and yeah, it's just too much i'm just trying to find a bit that i love because there's a bit that i've done where i've put the um, phases of the moon i did put it on instagram because i thought it was very cute there we go do you want me to hold something or are you no. there you go i thought it was quite lovely and um me, I forget that, you know, young people don't care. And I was like, sweetie, I'll show you the quilt that I'm making for you. <laughs> and uh, she was very sweet. And uh, she said, oh, it's quite nice. <laughs> I was like, yes, sweetie. <laughs> I'm doing something with love oh. for you because I'm hoping you will like it. Um, I'm really pleased with progress. It's going really it's well. Gorgeous. So, You're going to have no problem knocking that out by today. Yeah, unfortunately, I've been having so many meetings with work. And I'm working from home, so you would think I could do it, but you can't with quilting, you have to look down. <laughs> um, so I am hoping, it's quite meditative work, so I'm hoping to, to kind of focus on that. I mean, Friday is my day off, so if all goes to pot, I'll, I'll be able to finish whatever yeah. on Friday. And I'm not averse to her bringing it home and me doing more quilting later, yeah. but I need to have the label done. And I'm yes. doing, um, ooh, have I, oh yes, I'm doing surreptitious love for my child because she doesn't want to be the weirdo that comes with a weird quilt yeah so i've put hundreds of kisses Aww. on the binding she won't even be able to tell until it's too late <laughs> <laughs> so every so often when i come to a bit where it's too awkward to kind of turn or whatever i'll do a little kiss there ha ha surreptitious love <laughs> So I'm really happy with this and I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get it as finished as I can and then I'm going to do a video to upload because who knows when I'll see this quilt again, you know, because it's there and so she'll be living away. Yeah. So that's it. Excellent. You were quite productive this week. In a weird sort of way. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's, there's a book, there's our recommendation. So, so I'm living without a craft room at the moment. Ooh. It's very hard. Um, so I don't really have any of my craft books with me, so I, I'm, I'm, you know, public library. Shout out to the Dunedin Public Library that always comes through with good art and craft books. Anyway, I went, I had an open home today for the house sale. Was it tonight or was it Thursday? No, sorry. Um, someone wanted to come and see it for a second viewing, so it was today. Um, but I had meetings, so I couldn't just disappear. Cause I'm working from home I had to go to the library so I could use the Wi-Fi and like privacy and all that to have a meeting and of course I came out with like three really heavy books <laughs> trying to walk home anyway I picked this up um, no I can't read it like that it's called threads contemporary embroidery art uh, and it's a Thames and Hudson book so I think am I gonna get this wrong is Thames and Hudson a British imprint Oh, it sounds very British. Yeah, that could be wrong, because publishing is an, an, an old-fashioned sort of world anyway. Um, I think some of my books, those beautiful books of textiles, are Thames and Hudson. Mm. Anyway, this is a book of contemporary embroidery art. So, look at that. I just opened up on cross-stitch. Um, Maite Ortega. I love stuff like this. Isn't that the best? This is Catherine Mc McEva. Oh, she must be a cool person. She's called Catherine. <laughs> Look at this amazing mouth. That's a mouth. That's embroidery. That's amazing. That is, I mean, even if you don't like it, that's amazing. Oh, and that's an eyelid. That's 
So um, I recognize a few of these names. Um, but this is really cool. So normally when I get an art book out like this, um, oh, I follow her. I follow her on Instagram. So what I was going to say is I follow cool people on Instagram that feed my creativity. Um, she does the most amazing art pieces. Oh, she's got more than one page. Michelle Kingdom. Follow her on Instagram. Her work is stunning. Stunning work. Tell me if I'm going on for too long. No, no, you're good. Um, mm. Oh, a bit of hoop art in the art world. <laughs> so, I mean, if you ever feel like um, you're in a funk, oh, I've seen her work as well, on online. Um, That's really cool. Leslie Shomp. Um, Sometimes you lose your mojo, you're like, Ugh. um, looking at these sorts of books really gets your creative juices flowing. And you're like, you, oh, Richard McBettis as well. I really like his work. He does these amazing sculptures, which are all with tiny little rice stitch. But he talks about his sculpture being about time, about units of time rather than textiles. Um... I follow him on Instagram as well. But yeah. And the other thing is like I'm I'm seeing lots of like names in different languages. It's not just a a Euro Eurocentric book, which I appreciate. Um but yeah, sometimes you just oh, you know, you're just tired of the same thing. Oh, I've seen their work online as well. Sometimes you just need a, a pa like a palette cleanser. Mm -hmm. Even if you're never gonna make artwork like this. Even if you, you want, you're just waiting to feel inspired to stitch your next sampler. This is, I really enjoy these. Excellent. Yeah. So, watch Hysteria and get this book out. <laughs> oh, so, we're done? I think so. So, just to recap, um, leave a comment if you want to go into the prize, the prize giveaway drawer. Yes. Celebrate our one year anniversary. Yes. Sounds lame, but that's what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Um, um, let us know if you'd be keen to do a stitch along. Um, not a stitch along. No, uh, a Zoom. A Zoom. Yeah. A Zoom stitching session. Yes. You and you can bring, bring any stitching. It doesn't have to be. Bring, bring any making. Yeah. Or no make it, making if you just want to come and sit with us. Yeah. If it's going to be at some really random hour and you just want to eavesdrop it, then that's fine too. Yeah, because what we thought we would do is we would do it on a Saturday evening New Zealand time. I thought we might do it as like a... Yeah, we'll talk about a time. We'll, we'll have a time and a yeah. thing. But the idea is that we're trying to... Because um, we know we have some people that watch us in Europe. So something that's European friendly. Yeah. But also Australian friendly. And yeah. where we're alive and not yeah. half asleep. So I thought it might be a, a late evening for us, but not late, late. Oh, just like a eight or something that's like that. That's what I was that. thinking, yeah. I mean, that's late enough, isn't it? That's, that's, that's yeah. late to me. Let's not be ridiculous. I should be in bed by then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm definitely in bed by then. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm sure I had um, lots of stuff that I wanted to say. But I'm going to forget. Um, I watched Diary of a Physicist Farm Girl today. Uh, quilting. Mm -hmm. and go and watch her latest I really like Deborah she makes me think she makes me think more about stuff it's very good so go and watch her but yeah have a lovely week yeah. or fortnight um, we hope you enjoy this I promise to wear makeup that lipstick next <laughs> next fortnight and um. Enjoy your stitching and yeah. hopefully you will join us for our sal as well. Our with what you've got sal. Excellent. Or join Catherine and Ella. Ella, thank you. Yeah. All right. Have a lovely fortnight. Bye. Happy day. <laughs>